Oh, title, clickbait title. Uh, you want to watch some women get rejected? Cool, let's watch this video. I don't, I just came across it and I just saw the title and I'm like, okay, let's see what happens. So let's watch this video and I guess if you're a dude and you've been rejected a bunch, maybe this will make you feel a little bit better or something. <laughs> I don't know. Just, yeah, I felt like this title could probably... Uh, Get some views. Let's see Yo, what what's is. up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host, Jack, and today we found the best moments when women get rejected. Now, let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Yes, I've slept. <laughs> Dang, bro didn't even have to say anything, just turned around and walked out. That's annoying. Shut the hell up. Shouldn't have just turned around. You should have insulted her when you're walking away. What the hell is that? You're angry now? He didn't give you some free validation or something? What kind of like question is that? Kiss me or slap me? What if a dude did that? What What the hell? <laughs> I've seen so many videos like that. And and, and the guy's somehow in the wrong for, for, for stepping away from your, your stupid bullshit. Jesus. I want to see like an actual rejection. That was like a, a TikTok skit. So the, the rejection frequency is going to be considerably higher. So it's funny because my husband can spend all day at work laying pipe. And then the second he gets home, he like instantly forgets how to do it. <laughs> you know? it's, it's because I used up all the glue laying pipe with someone else. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, at least she can take the joke, but maybe he's being serious. Or slap. He used the baby as a shield. I don't know, that, that, I want to see, that's not rejection. Let's see some rejection. Uh, kiss or what? Slap. Slap, but I don't want to be slapped. You slap me. Oh, ah, uh, man. Nah, I ain't gonna do anything. No? <laughs> nah. Okay. When he realized what she meant by slap, he instantly turned it down. How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you, long term? 250000 a year, minimum. Okay, two hundred fifty thousand a year. What do you bring to the table? A lot of things. Name them. Name them. Name them. This is one of them. So that's all you got? I'm out of here. I gotta get McDonald's. You can get that from any girl, though. No, I got a lot more than that. But like, I don't you can get a girl, a girl, a girl that doesn't all, that doesn't need two fifty. A girl that doesn't need two fifty. Get the same thing. Yes. I need my McDonald's. She asks for all that, but can't even name one thing she provides. Double standard much? Oh, okay. You know, I was more so thinking about like, that was grotesque. Gross. That's why I say a lot of times, just don't date American women. And um, if you are going to do that, expect this because it's just part of it. It's not because it's just the women. It's not an intrinsic aspect of women to be this narcissistic and entitled. It's a cultural thing. Women are conditioned to be this fucking stupid and worthless. Yeah, pay a quarter of a million so that you can have a, a flat ass and a generic blonde bitch, white bitch. That's it. Gross. Honestly. And then she tried to bow away when he asked her about it because she didn't think about it. She's just being an emotional creature that has absorbed their environmental uh, influences and is now splurting that out to make it everyone else's problem. Gross. Um, yeah. A lot. I hear a lot of people say stuff. A lot of women say stuff like that. A lot of Western women. Remember, this is unique to America. This place is garbage. This is a shitty culture. And as a result, the people are going to be garbage shit. Shitty garbage. So you can't expect anything better. What's going on is that my birthday is February 10th, and my boyfriend just won two free tickets to Vegas for the Super Bowl, oh, okay, wow, which fun. is essentially on my birthday. Mm -hmm. And he's abandoning me and taking his okay. best friend Whoa, instead. Wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. God. Let me explain. I'm not abandoning her. We can do something before or after. Okay. I've told her that so many times. Okay. Oh. So many times. Okay. But 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 listen, Derek. You could take me, and you're and you're choosing to not take me. Leave me all yeah. alone on not... my birthday. Wait, Derek. Who are you taking with you? someone else. I'm taking my best friend. I'm taking my best friend, Brad. We've known each other oh. for years. We watch the game every Sunday. I can't not take him. So he's a big football fan. Are you a football fan, Megan? Well, I'm not necessarily a fan of football, but I'm a fan of <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Listen, also Taylor Swift is probably going to be there. <laughs> Taylor Usher I'll take, perform. I'll take, Vegas. Usher time, I'll take yeah. you to Vegas. I'll take you to Vegas. I'll take you to Usher. I'll take you to Taylor Swift, but not right now. This no. Is so go to this is like My man knew Brad would actually appreciate the football tickets and not just be there in case Taylor Swift is there. Try 
to have Yeah, dump her. That, she's garbage. The entitlement, it's like, shut your goddamn mouth, honestly. Not only, like, are you entitled and obnoxious and, like, causing an argument over stupid shit because you want him to do shit for you, but it's like, you're doing that on a public platform. You called in this place just to have an argument with him on a fucking radio show? Gross, dude. Dump her. Like... She, she, she doesn't deserve your sympathies if she's, like, gonna, like, siphon it like some black hole, honestly. Gross. Disgusting. I want you to do this, and I want you to fly me here on this particular day and time. You can't do it with your friend. I want to blah, 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 It's like, here, there's the door, bitch. Get out. I, pre I mean, you're probably the one that owns the house or something. You're probably the one that's paying for everything. Just kick her out. Disregard her. She's worthless. Try to highlight some of my core qualities including the fact that I'm very, very type A, organized, I like to be the leader, I told her the types of things that I like doing. I also told her I was looking for a man who was also a leader because I don't want to always be the leader, believe it or not. I told her I was looking for someone that was at or above the same income level as me. Of course. Driven, who is ambitious, who is ready for a long-term relationship and ready to get married. She really said, I want to be led when I'm in the mood to be led. Like, lead me. Lead me when I'm in the mood to be led. Come on, <laughs> just choose one of them. Making it way too confusing, girl. That wasn't the thing that, I mean, yes, what she's saying is mindless garbage and it makes sense. And it is, and it's, it's just funny the fact that she dapping on her. The makeup was the thing that stood out. I was just like repulsed by that. That's disgusting. Gross. You gotta like, like draw on your face so that you can be seen as attractive instead of just being like attractive. <laughs> Yuck. Ugh. So it makes sense that somebody while they're dabbing up makeup on their face is also saying a bunch of mindless nonsensical bullshit. I, I want to be the leader, but I also want to be led when I, when I feel like I want to be led. So I'm just going to make up random shit based on my emotions. Yucky. Yucky poo poo. Crazy question. You don't have herpes, do you? Herpes? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay, perfect. <laughs> well, I have a girlfriend. You, I, you know, my girlfriend would be pretty mad if she found out I was kissing other dudes anyways. So I don't apologize. There's nothing to apologize about. I appreciate it. Though. I'm just going to go kiss somebody else. That works. Mm, nice bun, Sweater? chicken, pickle bun. That's what happens when you try to force things on him after he clearly stated he was taken. If you had to- oh, I hate this fucking country so goddamn much. Oh my god. Not only was she about to like try to commit some like crime that if a dude were to try to commit that he'd get in actual trouble, but like the guy actually felt like he was trying to apologize for it. <sighs> Gross, man. That, that, that's, that just sucks. Fuck this fucking place. Fuck these people. Oh, add. The world See? is ready. If you had two hours with Charleston White, what would you do? Go shopping. She said that like as if Charleston just agreed. To, to, <laughs> like as if Charleston is just gonna 100% agree to take yo. Uh, ladies, if you're not one of these women that I'm about to describe, then please just excuse yourself from the conversation, all right? Congratulations to you. I hope you find an amazing man because you genuinely deserve it in this day and age, all right? Because 95% of your species is just not worthy of a relationship. They're just not, bro. And it sucks. It really does suck. Because I think all men want to be able to take care of a woman, provide for a woman, pay for her nails. It makes us feel good to provide and protect, take a girl on trips. I think all men would love to do that. But it's just like none of these girls qualify for that, man. They just don't. And it sucks. Of course, the first thing she says involves spending money on her. 95% dude you're an American again like the it, how much this narcissistic like vanity is like exacerbated depends on time and place this guy's a fucking American saying 95% that's kind of heavy go to a different place find women in places where like like the culture isn't just mindless garbage and I guarantee you will find a higher frequency of, of, of higher quality women now of course if you want to disagree with me on that all right, let's play the logic. Let's just play it logically, like with your shit fuck, uh, you know, grunge logic, right? So if you're making the, imp that, if you disagree, then you're making the implication that women only care. There's universally women only care about money, which is not true. But let's just say if that is true, let's just pretend here because we're really good at pretending, especially a lot of women in these videos. So if a woman only cares about money everywhere you go, why would you, why not just go to a place where the women are cheaper? 
where your dollar amount will go longer. Now I'm speaking farther. I was, I'm speaking as an American. If we're taking that logic, but I, which I don't believe entirely, I don't believe all women are just mindless, disgusting, vain parasites. But even if they were, why not go to a place where you can afford them? There you go. There's your solution. That guy's an American, so of course he's gonna say stuff like that. Same thing with you at the hype. Like you can't demand somebody be six foot. You're five foot two. Okay. Well, you can. And the thing. That's still my preference. But, but so men's it's, preference. It's, men's preference for the low a, body it's count. It's a stupid preference. It, you see, it's it's only stupid because you don't understand it, and it doesn't serve you. That's why you're very self-centered in the way you, you view things. How does it serve you having a nice, clean girl? Uh, well, well, no. Yeah. She's, uh, the baby's definitely mine. She's not going to run away. Marital happiness. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Go ahead. Speak no, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Basically, men are not allowed to have preferences, standards, and boundaries. If she's going to complain without a preference, she needs to reevaluate her dating pool. How yes. Um, if a dude has a preference for low body count, then that's totally fine. The same way. Uh, I guess it's told it's fine for a woman to have a preference on their uh, heights if it's reasonable, right? I guess both have to be kind of reasonable. Personally, I don't really care much about body count. I don't always believe that in every instance when the body count is, you know, reasonable, then that isn't always a reflection of how loyal they are. But then again, remember, I'm not coming from a place which I want a relationship for a woman. I don't give a fuck. I just care if like I can get with them and hang out and do stuff. I'm not like committing. I don't expect like stuff from them in this particular area. I expect them to be clean, to not be a garbage person, to be someone I can get along with, to be intelligent, someone I can have a conversation with. But I'm not going to get in a relationship. <laughs> Fuck that. So I don't have to worry about shit like that, right? So that's where I'm coming from. But yes, men's standards are, there's no tolerance for men's standards, especially in the West. Uh, women just want everything to benefit them for the most part and have nothing uh, in return to so make it super unfair against dudes. So that's why I say dudes, just don't date American women. Go to a different place, go to the Philippines, go to Vietnam, go to Thailand, go, go to some places in Latin America, like places where they, they're not infected by this disgusting piece of shit culture. How much are you spending on an engagement ring? I don't believe in marriage. Huh? What does that mean? How does a guy benefit from marriage? What? Okay, so you're telling me your dream girl wants to get married to you, you're just saying nah? Yeah, I already told her I don't believe in marriage, and she cried, and then we broke up. Okay, damn. damn. Bro doesn't believe in marriage, and that's not a problem. What do you mean you don't believe in a marriage? What else could he mean by saying he doesn't fucking believe in marriage, you dumb bitch? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> what, how else is he supposed to... I'm guessing what you meant by asking that, why don't you believe in marriage? Like, I mean, he answered it, right? He knew what you were saying, but he had to sort of, like, drag it out of you because you weren't going to be the one who said it. But, um, yeah, that's reasonable, especially in the West. Marriage is designed to kind of fuck over the dude. Um, why do you think prenups exist? Which everything costs money. Uh, they're all various industries that were heavily monetized, and people make lots of money off of them. The, the marriage procedures, the actual, like, papers, the documents, the marriage itself... The, uh, the, ta the government incentives in regards to marriage, the divorce, the divorce procedures, the papers, even a prenup fucking costs money. So, um, yeah, don't get married unless you want to get, like, have, make your life harder. That's fine. But, um, yeah, we're going to go just a little bit longer, uh, cause this is a long video. It's 19 minutes. So I'm just going to get through some of it, but, um, yeah, let's keep going. $5,000 or one night with me? $5,000. Why $5,000? $5,000 is $5,000. Yeah. Bro just got asked the easiest question in the world. See? No. Okay, no then. That one is dumb. Why $5,000 versus having sex with me for once? One night. Wow. You are dumb. $5,000 is like a hefty amount of cash that you can do a lot with instead of versus mediocre sex with some dumb bitch for a single night. That five thousand dollars can get you like laid like every single night for a month in like a different country. It's a joke, man. It's fucking idiots. See? No. Okay, no then. Is she blind? Hello. What's up? I'm Lala. What's up, Lala? How you feel? Not yet. Hey. What's up? How you doing? Not yet. <laughs> Hello. What's up, baby? Are you ready yet? Not yet. I hope I can. Hey. It's cold outside. Doing? I don't even know you cold. I'm saying, nah, put your coat on, man. It's cold out. What's good? I'm, good. <laughs> I'm not ready again. Not yet. Okay. This is so bad. India. Are we the first night? You oh, asking me that? Yes. I oh, don't know. I got to ask you some questions and figure it out. I swear, rappers are the best at these dating shows. It's not even a competition. Ask everyone. 
also like everyone in that video is fucking stupid. And these are all dumb people who just have lots of money. <laughs> but it's fun watching him kind of dunk on them. Not yet. Is that just say, tell him to fuck off? No. Like, I, I gotta explain yourself. You clearly aren't. But... All right. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. We're gonna start with you, Sophia. Go ahead. Nine. Okay. You already know, 10. Okay. Mm, I'd say a cool eight. Seven. Ten. Maybe like an eight? A ten. Eight. Nine. Ten. 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 What did you say again? Eight. Eight. I think we do have a little bit of delusion tonight. I want to say, you know, there's some delusion here. We've got a couple tens at the table. No offense. Right? You can think it's delusion, but I also think beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So mm -hmm. I personally think I'm a 10. She thinks she's a 10. I think she's a 10. I don't so. think that you're unattractive, but I don't think you're a 10. And that's and I'm, your not, I'm not saying that like to like, oh, that's a fucking own. I'm just saying that. Descriptive. Trying to be as like. Objective. Exactly. Thank you, Erin. Appreciate it. Thank you <laughs> Thank for that. You. Yeah. And I respect like that. A, but again, that's again, that's you and your and your views but i i mean personally i think i'm a 10. gotta find a balance between confidence and ego because look what happens when these ladies let their egos talk remember these are the types of people that you're inviting on your podcast these are dumb women who make lots of money off of vain shit vain superficial superficial bullshit so i mean you can't really expect anything better that's the point of that podcast is to make these dumb women look stupid. You just give them a platform, let them speak their mind, you're gonna get some stupid shit. You can't really make, you can't really expect anything better. I'm pranked Lamb a little bit and he's taking me out for a double date with one of his like really special important friends. So I brought out the special hoop earrings for the occasion. <laughs> he's good to die. Lamb. You got which uh, of this jacket I'm wearing? Bambi. What? What is this? What is what? This hula hoop on your ear. What do you mean hula hoop? It looks like the this thing. Why would you wear this kind of earring? Yeah, you you know this is an important meeting. Now. Why would you wear this kind of earring? These are special hoop earrings. What do you mean? This is not hoop. This is hula hoop. You, you look like that that thing those women wear and they are spinning around. You, you wear only one small tiny one or don't wear earring. You, it, it's not composite. We are going to go and eat and sit down and discuss. We are not going yeah, to... Yeah, exactly. How else am I going to meet your special, special friend? This look like you're going to Olympics. You are not going to Olympics, baby. Relax. A <laughs> small meeting we are going for. You you bring out Olympics <laughs> earrings. I mean, if your girl walks in wearing these things, what are you doing? You know what? It's clearly a prank. All right, last one. Last one, then we're good. How about this? What differentiates you from the other girls yeah. on this panel? How do you stand oh, out? Tell us. How do you stand out? How do you stand out? I stand out because I'm me, and I'm going to just keep it. Oh, like that. my God! <laughs> no, that's what I'm trying to say. Yo, bro, what, 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 this is what I'm trying to say, bro. Yo. Bring, bring it, yeah. If she can't state one thing she provides or what makes her stand out, she isn't worth it. Love for her and step in, step in the shoes of a dude for one day. <laughs> See how far that gets you. I'm me. Get kicked to the curb in two seconds as a dude. As a dude, you have to provide so much. And even still, like, you're just another option. All right. Um, yep, that's enough of that. Moral of the story is, if you're a Westerner, good fucking luck, man. The people, like, this is garbage. There's so much garbage here. These values are backwards. It's just shitty. The people here are just mindless. The cultural conditioning here is so goddamn, like, awful and apparent. It's just, it's not worth it. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. Stay away. Like, try to make your own money. Find ways on how to do that. And then just leave. Go somewhere else where people are less hostile, less selfish, less mindless, less out for them just to, to siphon, like, value from other people. Like, it's disgusting. It's really gross, honestly. <laughs> so... Stay safe.